Hey, good morning. This is Doug, a realtor here in Utah. Um, today we're talking about uh, selling. And as a realtor, uh, when you hire a realtor, you're hiring a realtor to, quote, sell your house, correct? <clears throat> okay, so if you're gonna have somebody sell your house, wouldn't you expect them to know how to do that? Or would you expect them to just put the, uh, the house up on the, the internet and maybe do an open house and call it good? Um, so, you know, what's, what's the difference? A lot of that difference just comes from both training and experience. Um, in, in selling, everybody's comfortable at a certain level where they can, you know, some people can sell, you know, the uh, $10 watches at uh, Walmart. Some people can sell jewelry at a jewelry store. And some people can sell mega million dollar yachts. Um, and, but when we say sell, they, they need to be comfortable selling and educated in the product that they are selling. And the, they're kind of lies what we're talking about in selling. So in, in selling, you're, you know, as you, we look at myself, so we've sold, I've sold things from land, building lots, to cabins, to luxury homes, uh, homes on a golf course, uh, smaller homes, investment homes. Uh, I've sold commercial stuff, done some commercial leases. Um, and so to be able to step in and say, I can sell your house, I can. I, with 30 years of sales experience, I mean, I've been selling since, you know, I, I was in my early 20s. Um, and to be able to sell is about making that connection from you, you, about your property to the people that are going to buy it. Um, let's talk about one quick thing. Uh, drove past a, a nice house today. Uh, they have a, a sign in the yard that says for sale by owner. You know, can you sell your house by yourself? Absolutely. Um, the one thing that I would tell you is if you're selling your house by, your, by yourself is step back and look at it from a buyer's standpoint. If a buyer is looking at your home and it says for sale by owner and you have you have two houses, say you and your neighbor are both selling, your neighbor's using a real estate agent, you, you're doing a for sale by owner. Identical homes, which one is perceived to be less value or less priced? And the answer is going to be for sale by owner. Same thing, if you buy a car on a, from a car a dealership or through the classifieds, which one's cheaper? That's the perception of the buyers they come in. They're gonna perceive your house, whether that's true or not, they're gonna perceive your house as being having less value because, it, and they're gonna perceive that that means that they can deal with you differently than they can your neighbor because they, you don't have somebody representing you. You uh, seem like you're gonna be a little bit more desperate because you're uh, for sale by owner. And you're going to be able to, they're gonna be able to negotiate price-wise because you're not as familiar with the values that are there. And so they're gonna come in thinking that they can get that cheaper because you've gone and they're selling it by yourself to save money from a real estate agent. Well, that's great, um, but what happens when you know you have um, excuse me when, when you have acreage? What happens when you have uh, different things when you're dealing with propane to to heat the house? Um, what happens just with the house in general? Um, I, I had a a gentleman that uh, we were, I was talking to and we were talking, his house was an older house and in an older home, you have to have lead-based ba uh, lead, lead paint disclosures 
saying that there is a possibility of lead paint, but I either don't know about it, I've covered it, uh, but you have to have this legal form here in the state of Utah. Um, and this gentleman said, well, you know, he wanted me to just give him the form. And it's like, yeah, that's not how it works. You know, hire me and, and I'll do that form plus everything else. And he was like, no, I'm just going to go to Sherwin-Williams and get it. It's like, all right, go ahead. <laughs> go, go to Sherwin-Williams and get a, a legal, state legal document that you have to have for your house that doesn't come through Sherwin-Williams. Anyway, um, so point being is with real estate, having somebody sell your house is very important. I'm going to touch on one more quick thing uh, with, with selling your house. Uh, as a Caldwell Banker agent uh, here in Utah, I have access to something that's called the Buyer Locator. It's a program that's designed so that I can take your home, plug it into a system, a uh, computer system, and it will generate and give me the information as far as where the, the buyers should come from to buy your property. And I'm going to tell you, most of the time when we've done this, it, it really surprises me. It comes from someplace different than what I was, was thinking. Um, but uh, anyway, with, with that, that's something that I bring to the table that hardly anybody else has is that buyer locator. And to do that, that means I can sell your house because now we can, we're not just sitting there uh, putting it on the on the internet and then hoping that a buyer comes through an open house. We can actually market your home to people that are looking in that area. So to be able to have that ability to sell your home, I think is, is just beyond in, incredibly important. Uh, I'd be happy to sit down and talk to you. Uh, I've got a great blog about selling that's, that's attached to the link. Uh, if you'd like me to talk to you more about selling your home, uh, give me a call, uh, email me, text me, uh, drop me a, a DM on the, and we can sit down and, and discuss uh, what your needs are and what you're looking for. Uh, but anyway, in real estate, make sure you understand that you're selling your home. You're not just hoping that it, it, you find a buyer.